Hello, this is Pam, Flower Patch Farmhouse, and this is a quick tutorial. This is part of um, a full-length video on how to paint a, a mason jar full of tulips, or you can add any flower you like. I'm going to show several different ones over the next few weeks. But I'm going to show you just the jar. You want it to be kind of translucent because it is supposed to be a glass jar, even though it's blue. And I have the folk art floating medium on my palette, though you can't see it because it's clear, and my brush is loaded, is full of it, and then I'm just coming in and getting a faint amount of blue. And then I'll just start filling in my jar. Now on my video, the first part of it, which I may remake, you may never see the big boo-boo I make, but uh, I do make a boo-boo, and I have it too dark to begin with, and then I end up taking it off with a rag. Uh, sometimes I like to leave the mistakes in my videos and that way you can see that you can fix them or uh, mask them. Like maybe if you wanted more flowers you can mask the area that's you don't like. And this is, I'm painting on a piece of um, cardstock paper that you can get at any supply store. I think I even got these, this at Walmart. Uh, also, they have it in, in, at, um, on Amazon, and I'm out of floating medium on my palette, but I'm just filling it in, and I'll try to blend it out where it doesn't have too much streaks. I'm going to use a smaller brush for that. Right now, I'm using the wider brush, the three-quarter inch brush, so I can really fill in this. Um, on a painted surface or a canvas, it would stay a little bit moister longer so you can blend it better but this paper is just soaking it up that I'm using for this demo. And you just keep, you see how it's all slightly transparent. It's not completely opaque. And that's what we want. If you want it more opaque, I mean more transparent, you add more floating medium as opposed to more paint. And then you just follow the outline. Um, on a design, I wouldn't have the outline so dark, but I wanted you to be able to see it on here. And then I'll go for my smaller brush and start working in the floating medium. I work a lot of floating medium in, get some of the transparent blue, and just follow the lines of the neck of the jar. And there you have how to paint a mason jar. Now I have the jar all painted in. Now usually I kind of wait to highlight it after I've painted the flowers in as if it's a vase, but if you just want the jar, you don't mind the streakies, at least I don't. But I will, my brush is still um, dirty and I'm adding just a hint of white and then you just kind of add a streak here and there. See, you didn't even see that one. And right along the rim, you want maybe just a bit to hint at where those um, threads, I guess you call them, for the lid is at. And then I'll highlight maybe a little bit down on this bottom area. And on this paper, this turned out to have more of a, a watercolor effect, and that's fine too. And there you have your completed mason jar with your highlights. Now I kind of follow the shape of the jar with the highlights. And you just kind of choose where you want to have your highlights and what have you. Now in my full length tutorial, I will, as I said before, show you how you put the uh, leaves inside of it and go over it again so it looks like the leaves are inside and inside the glass. 